Getting back to the idea, to the story, uh, MWC being canceled, might be canceled, is canceled. Huawei and Honor, they're not ready to let it go. You upset about this, Will? Yeah, I'm just reading it. It's like, yeah, I'm just going to go anyways. Yeah, they're going like, anyway. You know? <laughs> Huawei so and Honor are going anyways, and they're going to host their very own event as well as a virtual event. And I guess this is kind of a way possibly of capitalizing on the fact that some people are still going to be taking the trip. I don't know who. But or maybe to encourage people to still make the trip that we're planning on being there. I'm talking about press. Yeah, but the whole organizer kind of just shut it down, right? It's it's officially canceled. So is the venue still open? No, it's canceled. So what are they doing in Barcelona? <laughs> so when you're Huawei or Honor, you just march into, you just hop on a phone or on an email and you call up the Italian pavilion mm. in Barcelona Sounds and you say, right. we would like to have a virtual press conference and we will pay you X number of dollars in order to do that. Yeah. To which the Italian pavilion responds, we will happily accept those funds and the pavilion is yours. Mm. Perfect. You see how that works, Will? Yeah. Honor sent out press invites to a Barcelona press conference earlier today, including Android Authority, where this story originates, confirming, confirming a live stream on February 24th at 6.30 p.m. The invite confirms the venue, Hotel W Barcelona, and the presence of a demo area to experience the new products. It's probably going to be a scaled back version. And it looks like they're talking about two separate events at the Italian Pavilion and one at Hotel W Barcelona. But I'm guessing that Honor, Huawei, both presume that there's still some degree of opportunity to be, to be there, to, to show strength amidst the chaos of this outbreak. I don't know, man, what the signaling is here. But much like the original story we covered with TCL, they may have had very strong plans. They did have strong plans. Mm -hmm. And they might not just want to let those plans go. They're widely expected to launch the Mate 10S. Mate X, is it X or 10 in their case? With Apple. Probably X, right? With Apple, you can't, you remember when the iPhone 10 came out? The vast, the public called it iPhone X. Yes. Mate XS 10S, whatever they're referring to it as. They were expected to launch that device in Barcelona, offering the... No, it's X. It was always Mate X. Mm -hmm. It was never 10 for them. Mate XS in Barcelona, offering the new Kirin 990 chipset. And apparently they were, were going to bring with them some new tablets and laptops as well. So maybe they're just saying, look, we got to get this news out there anyways. We need some sort of an event in the West somewhere. This was going to happen in Barcelona. Maybe some people are kicking around already, press types. Mm -hmm. We still want to do it. So we're going to go completely independent of the thing. Now, is it a bit, could you perceive it as insensitive? People are obviously concerned. The organization running MWC was concerned. Companies such as Sony, LG, Vivo, concerned enough to pull out. I don't know how people will perceive this. If they think it's a, it's acceptable, if they think it's good, maybe they say, you know what? If I want to be there, I want to be there. If I want to take that risk, I want the option mm -hmm. to go show up at the event. Uh, but no, no doubt it's a sensitive time in the space just considering the situation in China as it stands right now. Mm -hmm. And the fact that there's this real life thing happening this human health thing happening and trying to figure out the correct balance within the smartphone sphere, which circles so closely, orbits that section of the world mm. so closely. And events like MWC, they obviously realized, hey, we're going to look at the bigger picture here. There's going to be another year. We're going to have another option. Maybe we just shut it down. Maybe we cool off. Same with all the brands that just made the statement early and said, look, we're not going to do it this year. Because the idea of bringing whatever it is, 50,000 people from all over the world, all those parts to one hub, I've been to CES so many times. 
Everybody gets sick. Everybody, it's that airflow. You're in a convention center, close proximity. A you're exhausted. It's the handshakes. It's all this stuff that comes with the event. So probably my angle is shut it down, do it again next year. Plenty of time, plenty of MWCs, but it's hard to say because companies have already spent money. Try to recuperate. They've got products and all the rest of it. It's a tough situation.